Day five, part five. So on uh, May 22nd, 1997, uh, Howard Jacobson received a letter that would change my life forever. He received a letter from uh, the state of South Dakota and it states, I have it right here in front of me. Dear Howard Jacobson, this is to inform you that the blood test results indicated that you are not the biological father of William Olson. Therefore, the child support case against you is closed effective immediately. Thank you for assistance in this matter. So on that day, uh, Howard Jacobson was excused as a potential father uh, of mine. So my mother had only been with two people in her entire life. It turned out not to be the first one. Um, she told everybody this entire time that it was Howard Jacobson, that it was Howard Jacobson, that it was Howard Jacobson. And now she gets this, uh, letter back from the state saying that, uh, uh, that it's not, uh, he got it. She got it. Uh, that, and, and they were both told that he's not the father. So now everybody thought that she was lying this entire time and worse yet, I mean, my mom had no idea where I came from at that particular point in her life. So what she thought was the potential case, now all these other questions started going uh, on in her mind. How was I conceived? Was I a product of, of rape? Because she could not remember any other uh, encounter that would have led to me. So now at uh, I'm... 17 years old with no where to turn, no ideas, no clues as to who my father might be. My mother is just absolutely dumbfounded and has no idea who my father could be now, especially since the state excused Howard Jacobson as uh, a potential candidate. And it just kind of spirals from there. Me and my mom, uh, you know, throughout this time, we just we just kind of pull apart a little bit. Um, we we have a lot of uh, heartaches between her. You know, I, I continuously asked her all the time, and again, uh, that was a particular time in my life where you know, you're a teenager or you know in my young twenties, and I've just never known. I'm old enough now to understand how people are made, and I, I I'm old enough to understand that you're just not created. Um, but my mom could never tell me how I was created or with whom. And for the longest time, I always thought that she was holding something back and uh, ashamed to tell me. And, you know, I I made her feel bad about that. And, and I mean, it really kind of tore me up inside a little bit, too, because it's hard to explain people uh, you know, who you are when you have no idea who you are. Uh, I've said this a number of times, but a person doesn't realize how many times they get asked about who their father might be until you don't have a father. No one else has ever really probably thought about how many times you get asked who your parents are until you don't have one. But every time you go to the doctor, every time you start a new class, every time you meet a new friend, every time you meet, uh, uh, you know, any new acquaintance or a significant other, of course, uh, they're going to want to know who your parents are. And then you have to explain to them that, you know, you know who your mom is, but you have no idea who your dad is. You're not adopted. Uh, you just, you simply don't know. Kind of a heartache that you have to live with for, for quite a while. Um, and it, you know, it hurt not only myself, but hurt my mom for a long time. And, you know, it was all done because of a blood test that says, nope, out of the three billion men in the world at that particular time, the one person or the two people who are excused as being my father are um, Howard Jacobson and, and Brett Davidson. So uh, my quest continues from there. Hope, uh, hope you're enjoying this and uh, we'll find out more tomorrow.